Shabbat Shalom, family, Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. The book of Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Again, the book of Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Again, the book of Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14 and I read, Blessed are they that do Yahweh's commandments. Blessed are they that do Yahweh's commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Now turn to Ecclesiasticus chapter 19 and verse 19. The book of Ecclesiasticus. The book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 19 and verse 19. Again, the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 19 and verse 19. I read, the discernment of the commandments of Yahweh is the doctrine of life. The discernment of the commandments of Yahweh is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please Yahweh shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. I read that to say this. It is a damn lie for any man to say that you can't earn eternal life. Again, I say, any man that says that one cannot earn eternal life has lied and is a damn liar. For the scripture teach that you must earn life eternal. As it is written in Revelation chapter 22 verse 14 and Ecclesiasticus chapter 19 and verse 19. The book says, Blessed, blessed is he that do the commandments. So if you do Yahweh's commandments, you're blessed. If you do, if you guard, if you observe consistently and faithfully the commandments of Yahweh, you're blessed. You're not only blessed if you guard Yahweh's commandments, but you will receive the right you receive the right to partake of the tree of life and to enter the Sephar city, the kingdom of Yahweh. So one must earn eternal life. One must earn eternal life by the guarding, the observance of the commandments of Yahweh. Those who say that one cannot earn eternal life. They lack understanding of the scripture. Believing on Jesus. Believing on Jesus of Nazareth. Does not cause his righteousness. His righteous living. To be transferred to us. The right living that Jesus of Nazareth lived was and is our example that we are to follow. But we must cultivate our own righteousness by doing the commandments. As written in Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we, if we observe to do all these commandments before Yahweh our El as he has commanded us. So we must cultivate our own righteousness 
in order to earn eternal life. Because one believes on Yeshua of Nazareth does not mean that his righteousness, his righteous lifestyle is transferred to us. That's false teaching. That's a misunderstanding of the purpose of the life, death, and resurrection of Messiah Yeshua. The purpose of the life, death, and resurrection of Messiah Yeshua was to and is to acquire redemption and reconciliation with Yahweh. Through Yeshua of Nazareth, we become reconciled, brought back into fellowship with Yahweh. Once brought into fellowship with Yahweh, you are now enabled and given the ability to walk in fellowship with Yahweh. And when you're walking in fellowship with Yahweh, you're living according to every word that proceeds out of his mouth. So in order to receive eternal life, you must do Yahweh's word. You must live according to every word of Yahweh. Eternal life is not going to be given to us without obedience to the word of Yahweh. Eternal life is not going to be given unto us because we merely say we believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Because believing that Jesus is the Messiah simply makes us reconciled and redeemed with Yahweh. Believing on Jesus the Messiah brings us back into fellowship with Yahweh. Once brought back to fellowship with Yahweh, we are now obligated to walk in fellowship with Yahweh by observing the commandments of Yahweh. It is written again, Blessed is he that do Yahweh's commandments, that he may have right to the tree of life, and he may enter into the self part six. We must earn entrance into Yahweh's king. We're not going to receive eternal life by doing nothing. Simply professing belief in Messiah Yeshua means nothing. Simply acknowledging Jesus as Messiah and King of Israel means nothing. But in believing on Messiah Yeshua requires obedience to what he has preached and taught. As written in Deuteronomy chapter 18, and verse 15, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15, Yahweh, your El, will raise up unto you a prophet from the midst of you, of your brethren, like unto me, unto him you shall hearken, according to all that I, that you desired of Yahweh your, your El in Horeb, in the day of the, the assembly, 
saying, Let me not hear again the voice of Yahweh my El. Now let me see this great fire any more, that I die not. And Yahweh said unto me, They have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among the brethren, like unto you, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And Yeshua of Nazareth is that prophet that y'all probably raise up like the most who will speak unto us the word of Yahweh. So we are in believing on Messiah Yeshua means to obey the doctrine, the word that Yahweh placed in Yeshua of Nazareth's mouth must obey his word. And the word of Jesus Christ, it does not cancel out the word of the prophet Moses or any of the other prophets that came after Moses. But the word of prophet Apostle and high priest Yeshua of Nazareth builds upon the words of Yahweh spoken by the prophets of old that came before him. So if you believe on Jesus the Christ, you will obey his doctrine. And if you obey the doctrine of Jesus the Christ, you obey the doctrine of the apostles that came after him. And if you obey the doctrine of the apostles, then you will believe in one God, only one God, whose name is Yahweh. You will believe in mere man Christology. May you reject the false teaching that Jesus Christ is God, that he existed prior to his conception. You'll believe in the new birth according to Acts 38. You'll believe in the observance of the feast days. You'll believe in the observance of the diet instructions, and you'll believe in living set apart. That if you believe in the doctrine of the apostles who received their doctrine from Messiah Yeshua. This is what it means to believe on Jesus Christ. If you believe on Jesus Christ, you will obey what he said by the spirit of Yahweh. For the spirit of Yahweh is the one who taught and revealed his word unto Jesus of Nazareth. So if you believe on Jesus, Jesus the Messiah, you obey what he said. And he said that if you want to be brought into fellowship with Yahweh, you must be born of water and of the spirit. And he instructed that in order to be born of the water and of the spirit, you must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sins and that you may receive the quickening of your dead nature received from Adam. And you must tarry, which means to seek and wait before Yahweh Till he endue you with his set apart spirit, with his himself coming to indwell your vessel. And you'll know you receive the indwelling of Yahweh in your vessel when he moved your tongue to utter a language that you never spoken fluently before. You'll, he'll move you to utter a language. That is different from your native language. He'll move you to other language.
that is unknown to your ears because you don't have the ability to interpret. That you may be confident and assured that Yahweh has come to indwell your vessel. And then from then on, you'll be able to obtain an understanding and discernment that you may apply the word of Yahweh, that you may be established in Yahweh's word, that you may be able to walk in fellowship with Yahweh. You see, believing on Jesus Christ does not mean just professing that he existed or acknowledging that he suffered and died on the cross and rose the third day and ascended up and above all heavens. But to believe in Jesus Christ is to obey what he taught. And Jesus taught that you must live as he lived. And he lived according to Yahweh's commandments. And we live according to Yahweh's commandments. We will observe his feast days. We will observe his dietary instructions. We will live set apart. We will observe his scripture just code. We will live according to every word that proceeds out of Yahweh's mouth. So to believe on the prophets and the apostles is to obey what the priest and taught. Same goes with Messiah Yeshua. If you believe on Messiah Yeshua, you obey whatsoever he has said. And whatsoever the Messiah Yeshua said, it's written in the scripture. Again, I say, is false. Is Daniel doctrine for any man say that you can't earn salvation? The scripture teaches you that you must earn salvation. You must earn eternal life. Again, I say, any man that said that you can't earn salvation, earn eternal life, that man's a damn liar. Well, he's white as a sheet of paper. Where he's black at the street. If he's teaching, if he believes that you can't earn eternal life, he's a damn liar. I don't care who he is. And you must repent of that teaching. You must repent of that belief that you can't earn eternal life. For the scripture tells you you must earn eternal life. The book says one verse Blessed is he that do the commandments of Yahweh, that he may have right to the tree of life and may enter the Sarapah city. Blessed is he that guards the commandments, that obeys the commandments, that he may be given that right to inherit eternal life. This is what the scripture teaches. I, I'm going by what the scripture says. Not by some blind and hell-bound man. Again, if you teach that you can't earn eternal life, you are a damn liar. You don't know the scripture. The book says we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written in the scripture. Turn to um, uh, uh, Second Corinthians chapter four. Second Corinthians chapter four. And verse thirteen. Verse thirteen. We have the same spirit of faith. We have the same spirit of faith according as is written. I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. The book says again in Romans chapter 15. 
whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. It's written yet again. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh and profitable and profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in what's right, that the man of Yahweh may be perfect and through the first unto all good works. So in order to earn eternal life, in order to, to inherit life eternal, you must obey what's written in the third part scripture. For our salvation is predicated upon us obeying the scripture. To receive life eternal, to receive salvation, you must obey the scripture. Don't believe the lies of hell bound and unregenerate and blind man that tell you you can't earn life eternal. You turn away from those damn liars who tell you you can't earn eternal life. For the book says, the book says, Blessed is he that do Yahweh's commandments, that he may have right to the tree of life and may enter the seraphot city. Whose word voice are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the word of hell-bound man? Are you going to believe the word of Yahweh? The choice is yours. You must believe what's written in the scripture. And according to the scripture, you must earn eternal life. Oh yes, you must earn eternal life by obeying the word of Yahweh. But in order to obey Yahweh's word, you must be reconciled and redeemed unto Yahweh by way of experiencing the new birth. And to experience the new birth, you must repent of your sin. You must be baptized in water in the blessed name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sin and the quickening of your soul. And you must seek and wait until Yahweh fill your soul with his blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost. And you will know that you've been filled with the Holy Ghost baptism, which is Yahweh's indwelling in your vessel. You will know you receive the Holy Ghost baptism when you hear yourself speak in another tongue as Yahweh give you others, give you the permission to speak. If you claim to receive the Holy Ghost baptism, but you never spoke in another tongue as Yahweh permitted you to speak. You never received the Holy Ghost. If you never received the Holy Ghost, you are not in fellowship with Yahweh. If you're not in fellowship with Yahweh, you're not serving Yahweh. If you claim to serve Yahweh, you haven't received the Holy Ghost baptism. You are a damn liar and you are a blasphemer. There's only one way and one way only to receive the Holy Ghost. If as Yahweh permit your tongue to speak, Yahweh has given the initial and external proof of one receiving the Holy Ghost baptism, and that is speaking in another tongue as Yahweh gave you permission to speak, and often he moved you to speak. That's the scriptural initial and external proof that one received the Holy Ghost. So 99.9% .9 of Hebrew Israelites haven't received the Holy Ghost. They haven't been baptized at all in the name of Jesus Christ. 99.9% .9 of those of the Hebrew Roots community have not received the Holy Ghost, let alone been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or Yeshua HaMashiach. So many of you, you must go back to the scripture. Humble yourself and obey the word. Repent of your sin. Go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ that you may receive the pardon of your sin, that you may receive the quickening of your soul. And you must tarry, you must seek and wait before Yahweh to fill your soul with the blessed Holy Ghost. 
and you know you received the Holy Ghost when you hear yourself speak in another tongue and Yahweh permit you to speak. This is the word of Yahweh that's being spoken to you now. If you don't receive this word, he will use a light. If you don't receive this word, he will root member of the truth. You're going to be damned to the lake of fire. And that's the truth of Yahweh's word. So turn from the damn lies that tell you you can't earn eternal life. Turn from the damn lies and submit yourself unto the truth of Yahweh's word. There's only one way. You can't go over it. You can't go around it. You can't go under it. You got to submit yourself unto Yahweh's word that Yahweh has moved me to preach and teach. You got to do it. You don't do it, you're hell bound. Oh, yeah, you're hell bound. You don't obey this word that is coming out of my mouth by the spirit of Yahweh of the truth. You're hell bound. Ah, ah, you're going to go to hell. Ah, you reject this word, you're going to hell. Hebrew root member, you're going to hell. Hebrew root member. Ain't going to be no great revival in the United States. The United States is going to be damned and destroyed. You got to obey this word now. Oh, yes, you got to obey this word. Repent your sins. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sins, for the quickening of your soul. Receive Yahweh and wait till he fill you with his Holy Spirit, and you'll know you receive the Holy Spirit baptism. Remove your tongue. Remove your tongue to speak in a language, in a language that y'all remove your tongue to speak. You can't manufacture this language on your own accord. Y'all will come within your vessel and move your tongue to speak in a language. That will be unknown to your ear because you don't have the ability to interpret. It will be new to your ear because you've never spoken it fluently before. And it will be different or distinct from your native language. This is the initial and external proof that one has received the Holy Spirit baptism. This is what the scriptures teach. Damn what man said. Damn what some Christian pastor said. Damn for what, what some Hebrew Israelites like Murray said. Damn what some Islamic Iman said. I only trust and hearken and hold fast to what the Sephar scriptures say. And if you reject the scripture truth, then damn you. If your God, if your Lord, if your spirit is telling you to reject the scriptures, then damn your Lord and damn your God and damn your wicked ass spirit. Your Lord, your God, your wicked ass spirit can kiss Yahweh's ass. You can kiss my ass too. You got to hark to the scripture. That's the only way you can be saved. By hearkening to the Sephiroth scripture. That's the only way you can be saved by obeying the scripture. That's the only way you can earn eternal life by obeying the scripture. That's the only way. There's no other way. You can't earn eternal life no other way than obeying the scripture. You must obey the scripture. It is written again. It is written again. Here it is good. Blessed is he that do the commandments of Yahweh. They, have, they may have right to the tree of life and may enter into the self of our sin. That's what you must do to receive salvation. Obey Yahweh's word. O Yahweh, in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for another opportunity to speak your self of word. Thank you for your self, our spirit, wisdom, and mercy to testify of your great and most self-heart name. 
I beseech you, Yahweh, that continue to draw your children to both hear and receive your word. And those who are not chosen to receive your word, that you grant unto them a testimony of damnation against their soul, that in the day of judgment they may be without excuse, O Yahweh. Continue to be with your elect ones. Grant us your wisdom and your uncommon favor, your patience. Open wide your chambers of blessing and windows of shining upon us, that we may thrive and survive and may endure until the glorious appearing of your beloved Son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Increase our faith, O Yahweh. Refine our faith and establish our faith that we may hold fast to your unchanging hand. Continue to fight against the enemies of your people. Continue to fight against the enemies of your servants, O Yahweh. Particularly continue to fight against every one of the enemies of your servants in Rockford, North Carolina, and Person County. Particularly fight against all my enemies that exist in both Rockford Police Department. And rock your church from O Yahweh. Continue to sin upon them and into them. Your great, your unceasing and incurable and unfathomable curses, plagues, terrors, oppressions, derision until they cease from the earth, O Yahweh. You continue to fight against them night and day, O Yahweh, until they're destroyed, O Yahweh. You terrorize them. You persecute them, O Yahweh. You oppress them, O Yahweh, as they seek to oppress your servants, O Yahweh. You close up the windows of Shamim against them and upon them. You close up the chamber of blessing upon them. Let everything that they touch and that they associate, let it be cursed forever, O Yahweh, till they're destroyed, O Yahweh. Curse the very seed, O Yahweh. And you bring them down, you throw them down, O Yahweh, until they cease from the earth, O Yahweh, unto your glory, honor, and praise. I thank you. I thank you, O Yahweh, for your great goodness, for your great mercy, for your great favor, and your loving kindness shown upon us your elect ones upon your great love shown upon your servant i give your name honor glory and praise so be it so be it remember family as you're able remember family as you're able please show your support by sending a donation to either my cash app paypal venmo moneygram Please donate to the support and necessity of your beloved brother and faithful minister and Messiah Yeshua. Continue to pray for your beloved brother. Continue to pray for one another, family. Continue to hold fast to Yahweh's unchanging hand. I love you all, family. Y'all have a blessed Shabbat. May Yahweh give you a blessed Shabbat and a blessed week all through next week. Shabbat Shalom.